Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx. And this is Austin from SportRx. We are here to help differentiate the differences between the brine, fathom, and harpoon. See if you can do it. Brine, fathom, harpoon. They're all very, very similar. In fact, sometimes I gotta look at the side to see which one is the difference. Seriously. So we're gonna tell you guys a little bit about the differences on each. But before we do that, similarities, you might be wondering, they're all from the core collection. They're all made out of an amazing bioresin TR90, so they're good for the environment as well. They all come with polarized lenses, of course, because they're Costas. Yep. Um, and they, you can get the 580 technology in the polycarbonate or even in the glass. And all of them are available in prescription too at sportrx.com. So enough about the similarities the differences are so the first thing we want to talk about is fit we're going brine is going to be kind of the smallest one out of all of them but not by much the uh, fathom is really really similar to the brine it's just a little bit more round and has a little bit more plastic around the bottom part of your temple kind of area where the eye and the temple meet so it's just a little bit more plastic yeah. both of those also have uh, venting in the frame for some airflow where the harpoon does not so the big difference is going to be the harpoon uh, is a little bit larger why don't you throw those on as well mm -hmm. harpoon's pretty much actually a large fit even though it's kind of more of this old school small looking pair of glasses it's more of a, a large fit. The harpoon also has spring hinges where the other two do not. The brine and the fathom do not have spring hinges. They're kind of more the regular pin hinge system. And the other main difference is the harpoon has a little bit less uh, hydrolyte. Hydrolyte is like that rubberized grip. It's just a little bit at the end where on both of these other guys, the fathom and the harpoon, it's a lot of hydrolyte all the way around. Yeah. So maybe if you want to go a little bit more hardcore and you're using them on the boat a little bit more and fogging is an issue and sliding off is an issue, uh, this family might do better for you, the Brian and the uh, fathom. If you just like that look, um, you're going to be active in it, but not as active the harpoon might be a good choice for you. We also have individual reviews on each pair of these glasses that might help you make a decision. We also have a video on just the difference between the uh, brine and the fathom, so that might help you as well. If that's still not enough help, you can always call SportRx. Yeah. We have certified opticians on the phone that want to help you. They're, yeah. they're nice people. They're really nice. Yeah, we, you could also email us, info at sportrx.com, or you can leave a comment down in the comment section and we'll do our best to help, but we will answer. Yep. Uh, if you like this video and it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace. Later.